Hello team, how's it going? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. Welcome to today's video. So we've got major update going on in the Middle East and around the world. Some of you who may have seen the news or you might not have. Uh, Israel is now on high alert. They've closed down their airspace um, after an unprecedented Iranian attack. So for those that don't know, like I said, Iran uh, launched around 24 hours ago, just over 24 hours ago, around 360 aerial drones and missiles. Okay, so these are UAVs, unmanned aerial um, vehicles, uh, carrying missiles, and they've also uh, launched cruise missiles. Okay, and these are obviously aimed at Israel. Luckily, though, with the help of UK, the US and Jordan, uh, they were able to take down, destroy and neutralize around 99% of these you uh, of these cruise missiles and drones so luckily not many of them got through uh i think there were a few injuries including a seven-year-old girl um but the majority of people are safe but they are now on high alert uh, this is in response to a strike that happened on the consulate of iran in syria on the 1st of april uh, iran believe israel carried out an attack they've neither confirmed nor did nor denied this uh, and a few other nations around the world believe Israel did carry it out uh, and at the minute Israel haven't retaliated but they have said the campaign is not over uh, and known as Israel they are not going to let this go um, the issue we have is you know Iran haven't actually really got involved in anything but we know they have backed such wars um, of R Russia and Ukraine by supplying Russia with drones you know, they supply the Houthis. Uh, they're obviously massively opposed to Israel, um, Israel's attacks in Gaza. So the tensions were already high. The chances of something happening was already high and it has now happened. Uh, I think this is pretty major news uh, and pretty bad considering of what's going on around the world as it is. Um, you know, it, <laughs> Could this lead to World War Three? I don't know if it could be a mass world war, but this could lead to another war that could go on for a couple of years. You know, Russia and Ukraine have been going on for 781 days now with no sort of sights, you know, of it calming down or finishing yet. Um, you know, they're still going. Russia is still carrying out. Believe they're doing what they're doing is right. Uh, and with obviously Israel and Gaza, the Houthis, um, it's already sort of a high tension area. Jordan, Yemen. You know, you've got Iraq, Syria, all in that area. Could we have another sort of major war within the Middle East? Possibly. I do know that the US and UK, like I said, did help shoot down the majority of drones and, U and, drones and cruise missiles. But I believe that they have come out and said, look, we are not backing uh, an attack on Iran and we're not going to support it. So if Israel do carry out an attack, I think it would be an individual attack and they will be alone on it. Israel's pretty sort of well equipped and well kitted out when it comes to their military, their special forces and their air force. Luckily, they were because they were able to destroy 99% of um, these missiles. Um, but could they really go up against Iran? Do we want them to? Personally, I would say no. It, it's pretty big if they do, because my thoughts are... If Israel do carry out a retaliation to this retaliation, then Iran will definitely take it one step further again uh, and it will escalate, um, which is what we don't want. So, you know, we'll have to just keep an eye on this over the next few days and see, see what happens. Um, but for me, I think this is pretty big. This is pretty bad news, um, especially with obviously israel and gaza and then you know willing we know they're willing to carry out attacks you know they're not afraid to sort of sit back and uh, they don't want to just sit back and take it they will defend themselves at all costs so we will just have to see won't we but the airspace has been closed down in and around israel now um due to the attack so yeah that's what's going on in the middle east let us know what your thoughts are like i said russia and ukraine no sort of you know doesn't look like that's calmed down anytime soon. Putin's still got his eyes set on Ukraine. Zelensky's, you know, doing his best to sort of defend as much as possible. NATO 
saying they don't want to get involved, but they're obviously still supplying weapons, kit and equipment and munitions to Ukraine to help them defend themselves, but not willing to sort of send troops in uh, and support the war in that way. I think it would be the same with Israel and Iran. Yes, we got ships in the Red Sea trying to help protect the cargo ships and the fuel ships. It's not really about Israel. It's, it's protecting the supply chain. Uh, I don't think they'd be willing to go in uh, and put grounds actually, uh, boots actually on the ground. So let us know what you think is going to happen. I think there's going to be some sort of form of retaliation in the coming days. Uh, be interested to see what your thoughts are, what your take is on this. Uh, and we will sort of just sort of stay together, keep updated together and see what happens over the coming days and weeks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.